Okay guys, um, I took the rest of the grease out with some Q-tips and I've already shimmed it just using the same bushings so I have nothing extra to use and I've also done angle of engagement as you can see pretty good so so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually put some new grease in here and stuff and just put it all back together okay I got the motor on and everything on now just a quick check before I go any further just showing you that the tappet plate works I put that tappet spring in on the side and uh, safety safety's on and then safety's off so we know that works once we get all that I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do next now I'm gonna attach the uh, selector switch and then I'm gonna put the pieces on the other side also thought it was worth mentioning uh, thanks to the wonders of Loctite super glue I have actually fixed the selector switch but I'm pretty sure this is not gonna fix my full auto problem because I still need a cutoff lever okay guys um, final part of the internals video for the M14 as you see got it all back together that's what we're getting 345 so definitely better than 270 before so 60 FPS just by replacing the strip piston but I will do a couple more shots just to confirm that FPS with y'all 343 and this is .2 BB so 344 and 342 which is 341.9 okay guys um hope you enjoyed this video I'm really not going to make a video but I did make a uh, one of my crazy silencers to this as you see I just took off the front sight and what I have is I had the rest of that Instamore from using to make AKA cheek risers and other things, etc. So I put that up there on the barrel, and then I bought some more drum cymbal foam. Uh, the front looks really ugly. This thing's going to be revised, so don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, drum cymbal foam in there. And it seems so far, just by shooting in my room, I know that doesn't say much, but um, all the BBs are going pretty much exact spots, so I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the it's not hitting the cymbal foam. But yeah all the way up there as you see like slight wobble um, it is kind of relatively easy to come off so I might find a way to fix that but yeah uh, as I said really ugly in the front but this piece doesn't move at all just let the Gorilla Glue dry it on it might repaint the silencer I don't know as I said this is just leftover PVC from when I made the last one so uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video took a $20 M14 put a a stock motor I already had in there, put a bucking in there, tweaked up the hop up just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Silencer, uh, contacts were kind of whacked out. Something I really can't fix unless I buy a new gearbox though, because this is a very old version 7 gearbox. Also, I put the gun together before I showed you all what I did. I also rewired the gun kind of completely, but uh, basically what happened was the motor piece or the motor clamp on the red wire that came stock in the gun just kind of broke off on me. As you know, when I got the gun, it broke off the original motor. So I just got me some of my 16 gauge silicon wire and soldered that directly to the motor and just cut off the black wire that was going to the contacts and restarted on some black 16 gauge silicon wire and just ran it all the way up through the gun. That way I don't have three different connectors to plug a battery in. So, you know, trigger response is slightly better, but of course, with it being the micro switch, the trigger still has to go all the way back before you even get any type of contact. I really can't fix that. The only way to really guarantee you shoot off is by kind of pushing up on the trigger, uh, which is kind of funny. So, yeah, guys, pretty much it. I got a fully functioning M14 now. It works great. I just got to go out there tomorrow and see how it shoots, but that video will probably go up on what you're looking at. Okay, guys, until then, hope you enjoyed the video. This was a uh, Watch of Vlogs Internals Part 2 for the M14, and I'm out.